so we said that tsni literally tries to preserve it tries to preserve the distances in a neighborhood right in a neighborhood i'll just call neighborhood as capital n right so but this could this could create problems let me give you a very very simple example let's assume i have two dimensional data okay and let's assume i want to project this into 1d okay let's assume i want to project this into 1d okay using tsni okay i want to embed these points suppose my four points let's say are my first point is x1 here my second point is x2 my third point is x3 my fourth point is x4 let's assume they are they are corners of a square okay what what does it mean it means this length this length is same as this length which is same as this length which is same as this length so if i have four points like this in 2d space which are equidistant so all these points are equidistant right so they're forming basically a square okay so this distance is same as they're not equidistant from every other point so let's let's say they fall on a square right if it's in 2d it's a square in 3d it's a cube in nd or in d dimensional space it's a hypercube right we learned this in linear algebra right if i have points in in d dimensional space they will let's assume in 2d they, they are they are corners of they are corners of a square now if i want to embed them into one dimensional space let, let's see let's see the problem that we'll quickly run into okay so let's assume i want to embed my x1 okay we'll just do this is a very simple example where i'll prove that you cannot perfectly embed these points okay let's see let, let's go through that so first let me put my x1 i know that my x2 my x2 should be at a, at this distance okay at this distance so i'll place my x2 such that the distance between x1 and x2 so let's assume this distance is d okay let's assume this distance is d okay i'll make sure that this distance is d so i have embedded my x1 i have embedded my x2 let's take x3 the good thing is x3 x3 is at a distance of x3 is a distance of d from x2 right so let's say i so i can embed so i can embed my sorry i can embed my x3 here let's assume i'm defining my neighborhood as points which are at a distance of d which means x1 and x3 are not in a neighborhood right only x4 so neighborhood of x1 is x2 and x4 not x3 because this distance this distance is not is more than d right this is square root of 2d right this distance is square root of 2d right so d square plus d square sorry 2d square yes square root of 2d yes because this is a perpendicular line this is these two lines are perpendicular using pythagoras theorem this distance is root 2d right so let's assume i'm defining my neighborhood using distance d then of course i'm preserving i'm preserving this distance i need to just preserve these four d's i don't have to preserve the distance between x1 and x3 because the distance between x1 and x3 okay so this is also d let's say the distance between x1 and x3 is 2d while in this in the in the in the two dimensional space it's root 2d but since since x3 doesn't belong to neighborhood of x1 at distance d i don't have to preserve it right so this is perfectly okay placing x3 here is perfectly okay but now comes the tricky part what I, where will i place my x4 i need to place my x4 so let, let's take multiple options here okay let's say i place my x4 here okay at a distance of d from my x1 which means i'm preserving this distance okay my x1 x4 distance is what i'm preserving but as soon as i place my x4 here my distance from x3 to x4 has become 3d while it should be d right because my x4 and x3 are in a neighborhood because my neighborhood of x3 is x4 and x2 right for x3 this is my x3 its neighborhood contains x2 and x4 right but where will i place my x4 if i place it here okay my x1 x4 distance my x1 x4 distance is being preserved but this is not being preserved 
Similarly, if I place my x4 here, if I place my x4 here, this distance will be preserved, but this distance will become 3D now. So whatever I do, if I have to place my x1, x2, x3, x4 points onto one dimensional space, one dimensional space is nothing but a line, right? One dimensional space is nothing but a line. Whatever I do, okay, I will make at least one mistake, right? We just saw it, right? That wherever I place my x4, whether I place here or I place here, neither of them will work because at least one distance, either this distance or this distance will get corrupted. So there will be cases like this. So this is this is proof by contradiction. So I'm taking a case where I have my data points like this and I'm saying I will not be able to project this data from 2D to 1D by preserving all that all the distances in a neighborhood. So sometimes it is impossible. Sometimes, sometimes, not always, sometimes, especially in the case of these hypercubes, it is impossible to preserve to preserve distances in all the neighborhoods in all the neighborhoods it's impossible as we just saw i proved it with the contradiction right i just took 2d data and i tried to uh, project it into 1d and i just and i just failed such a problem is called the crowding problem what it means is your points are getting crowded that's impossible do whatever so this is this is this is one of the reasons. So earlier, uh, before TSNI, uh, I think a few years before TSNI, there was a lot of research on stochastic neighborhood embedding. Okay, then people said when whenever they did stochastic neighborhood embedding, they started observing this problem of crowding, and then they said let's use t distributed stochastic neighborhood embedding. Again, this t distribution is 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 one of the distributions in statistics. Uh, it's called the student's t distribution. It's called the student's t distribution and uh, it, it has a shape which is slightly different from Gaussian distribution. Why t distribution is used is slightly beyond the scope of this class. But t distribution was primarily used to resolve the crowding problem. And by resolution, what it's literally doing is it says I will not guarantee that I'll preserve all the distances. I will do my best. I will do my best uh, to preserve the distances. It is not going to promise you that it will always solve the crowding problem. It's impossible to solve the crowding problem, right? So in a case like this, it will try and find the best trade-off. Okay. It will try and find, it will try and minimize the errors like this, like, like the one that we just saw here. 